Galician and Portuguese are the same language, aren't they? I mean, they didn't come from the Galego Portuguese language. They were even part of the same kingdom, right? Today we're going to talk about the similarities and differences between the Galician and Portuguese languages. For the purpose of this video, we treat the two varieties as two separate languages. The two languages came from a form known as Galician Portuguese, or Galego Portugues, and were first written down in the late 9th century. The county of Portugal split off the Kingdom of Galicia in about 1130 AD. After this political split, the two languages began to split, and it only took another 200 years to completely split, and by the end of the 14th century, the language had split into at least four different languages. Some of these were Galician, Portuguese, Fala, and Aonavian, or Galician Asturian. <clears throat> when speaking of the two, ling the two modern languages in their archaic forms, they're generally referred to as Old Portuguese and Medieval Galician. Nowadays, the Galician language has two written standards. One is the official one used in education and most public life, which tends to be more accepting of the divergences of Galician from Portuguese, but there is also another standard called Reintegrationalist, which aims to preserve the connection to Portuguese as much as possible. There are many news outlets that also use the Reintegrationist Galician, so the situation of the language is a little bit complex. We can talk about the reasons for there being two standards, but that is beyond the scope of this video. The Eastern dialect of Galician tends to be the closest one to Portuguese. The, the two languages still maintain a high level of mutual intelligibility. Even a Brazilian Portuguese speaker could converse with a Galician speaker to a large extent. The biggest difference between the two languages is mainly phonemic. And in that is that Galician, being a part of modern Spain, has naturally been influenced by Spanish, Castilian Spanish, and the main spelling center is based more on Spanish than Portuguese. For example, Bonitinho, or Bonitinha, Can, Can, Espelho or Espelho, Venia. The biggest difference is that Galician doesn't have any nasalization in the same way that Portuguese does. For example, Galician does not have the sounds in Portuguese. Uh, ansh, au, ansh, oinsh, ansh, and usually corresponds to a, an, as, on, ans, ons, and ans, respectively. Examples of this include coração, coração. In Galician, instruction, instructions, orfão, orfo, in Galician, cidadãos, cidadãs, catalães, catalãs, irmã, irmã. And sound in Portuguese has changed to a voiceless fricative sh in Galician. Some examples of this: jornal, jornal, a newspaper or a journal. Hello, you, hello, you, a watch. Oshi, or oja, oja, today. Seja, seja. This is the subjunctive form of the verb ser, to be. Junto, junto. Galician lacks the phoneme V as well, and although f Galician may write words with this sound, the phoneme is pronounced as a B. The central and eastern dialects of Galician tend to pronounce Z, or C, C-I-C-E, as th, as it is in Spain, in the Castilian Spanish dialect. But the western dialect maintains these sounds as, a s as some dialects of Portuguese. For example, Eu quero, eu quero viajar a Paris, a cidade do amor. Eu quero viajar a Paris, a cidade, a cidade do amor. Here is a sample text comparing the two languages. If you look at the differences here, the only, the only main differences are that some words are different, as well as some prepositions, like O here, as you see, A and O. Involucro, they decided to use envolver in Portuguese. Many of the, and also the verb form is a little bit different. Formaron in Galician, and formara, formara in Portuguese, and they choose to say millions, millions, and they say millions in Portuguese, and they say pessoas and pessoas. So, uh, for the most part, these, these languages are very close to each other, but they are still treated differently. The, the main difference between Portuguese and Galician are mostly phonetic, and mutual intelligibility exists to a large extent, even with Brazilian Portuguese speakers, although there is probably a good deal of force for different meanings. I cannot find anything sufficient for the purpose of this video. Do you know any words that are completely different between Portuguese and Galician? Do you believe that Port Galician and Portuguese are varieties of the same language, or that they are different? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Please subscribe to the Langshack channel. Catch us on IG and Twitter at Langshack, and at Facebook at Langshack as well. And visit our website at Langshack.org. Thank you all for watching, and catch you in the next video.